Bowl eligibility for these Miners has already been accomplished. We're barely halfway through the season for that. The Miners' November 6th home game versus UTSA will air nationally on ESPN2 with kickoff set for 8.15 local time. UTEP football players, though, they don't care about any of that. They're at Florida Atlantic this coming Saturday at Boca Raton, but it's tough to ignore the implications of this upcoming showdown with UTSA. UTSA will be undefeated and will be ranked, currently ranked number 23 here in the AP poll in the nation. When they come to town, they're going to be still remaining in that poll. That game could decide who wins the Conference USA West all together. UAB took an upset to 24-point dog Rice last weekend, so the door's open for the Miners. A massive game in the short term, obviously, with a chance for a conference title. But in the long term, for UTEP Athletics, with the recent light of conference realignment, every game that UTEP plays moving forward should be considered an audition to everybody watching. The conference that UTEP currently calls home, the Conference USA, has been reduced to nearly bare bones the last couple weeks. More than half of its members have announced that they're leaving for what they think are greener pastures. UTSA, that opponent that they'll play, they're already going to the American Athletic Conference. They'll be outski come 2023. Southern Miss, this team here, expect them to be moved, leaving that list come tomorrow. They're scheduled to announce their intentions to go to the Sun Belt, and it's rumored that Marshall and Old Dominion there could join them. UTEP Athletic Director Jim Center is very aware that a chance to showcase his athletic program on a national stage couldn't come at a better time. Some of the stuff related to, I think, conference realignment and all these kinds of things that are swirling around out there, uh, do they're, they're, you know, the national media, um, uh, commissioners, uh, other athletic directors, and coaches for that matter, are looking and evaluating UTEP. And part of the evaluation of UTEP is the evaluation of the El Paso community. You know, what does this community care about? What do they get behind? How do they support it financially? How do they support it with their time, energy, efforts, talents, you know, in, in those kinds of things? All those things matter. I did it a couple weeks back asking to put butts in the seats. I'm doing it again. The call to action. This game against UTSA. No longer, no longer significant merely within the Conference USA. It should warrant consideration, I'm calling, for the college football institution that is college game day, baby. Each week, the folks over at ESPN go to one college campus that they showcase for the entire nation. See that word showcase? Yeah, I said a little bit earlier. Nothing says showcase like game day. They, of course, game day, never been to the city of El Paso. Could the miners possibly welcome Reese, Dez, Coach Corso, and Herbie here to the United States border. I don't think that it's that crazy of an idea. Looking at the other games on this slate here that weekend, usually they're going to have to pick between a couple games to go to for college game day. Not sure if you can make it out here on the light. Missouri and Georgia. Georgia's, Georgia's at home. They'll probably roll Mizzou there. LSU and Alabama, that's going down that weekend as well. But LSU this season stumbled out of the gates. They've already got four losses. That doesn't have the luster of years past. Ohio State at Nebraska. Nebraska, too. Five losses there. Michigan State at Purdue. You see eight, Sparty. They're already going to Michigan State this coming weekend. Purdue, meanwhile, just took a tough loss to Wisconsin at home last week. I think maybe Purdue wins that game. Game day could go there, but the Boilermakers dropped it, so a door is open. I see no clear-cut favorite on this slate that they could take college game day to. Now look, this campaign, too, to bring game day here to El Paso, it has legs nationally. People are already starting to tweet out calling for college game day to come down here to El Paso. Let's go ahead and take this graphic full screen here. You see, the UCA, UTSA Athletic Department, they've already called their shot here. Hey, college game day, what are your plans of that weekend? Uh, Hopefully college game day coming here. Red at CFB. Adam Rittenberg is a national writer for ESPN. He's calling for El Paso. It'd be an amazing spot. And then this one back here on the bottom left, you see Pete Thamel. He's the national insider from Yahoo Sports. Thamel's the same dude who broke the Miners' hearts last week when he tweeted about six teams leaving for the Conference USA. Now here he's out here with the Twitter fingers calling for rally cries for the Miners to El Paso. I spoke with Athletic Director Center. If he could pitch his, uh, his campus to college game day, how would he do it? What I would tell the executives of ESPN is you're going to be hard pressed to find a team that's playing with more passion, more excitement, that has accomplished more and probably has the biggest turnaround in college football from last year or two years ago to right now. And, uh, in, and I know this, the people of El Paso, El Pasoans will turn out and make them proud and happy that they came to El Paso, Texas, because there's no better fan base than the Miners fan base right here.
Hey, game day, listen, I've already done your scouting. I got your location right here. Across the street from Sun Bowl Drive, empty parking lot, and how epic would a backdrop for college game day be? That's Ciudad Juarez there right over the background. I don't think I can name any other college campus that overlooks a foreign country. You pack that lot there with rabid UTEP, UTSA fans and overlook a foreign country, that is tremendous right there. I, you fill that parking lot up, it'll be a ton of fun. College game day to El Paso. I'm told from my pals on the ground in Bristol that they've said UTSA, UTEP in the bottom 10. It's a finalist, final 10. Who will get the final rose? Let's hope it comes down here. We need your help. Game day on the border. Everybody, fire off the Twitter fingers. Tell your mom, your girl, your brother, your uncle, your cousins, everybody. And we'll see you after the break.